Hi, this is Ross from ProTech Epoxy Floors, Newport Ritchie, Florida. Today we're starting this whole house floor interior in Tarpon Springs. We definitely have our work cut out for us on this job and we're only getting started. I'm doing this as a voiceover in the future and I kind of have an idea what's underneath what we're looking at now and I'll kind of go over that as we go along. Like for instance, in this room here, there's a couple layers of overlayment that we had to remove. Going through the floor now, that threshold I just stepped through, there's a, again, a layman over there that we're going to have to honor eventually. Here you can see the misalignment of these floors here. Now, again, this house is 100 years old and there's been a lot going on these floors over the years. Now into the bathroom, you'll see later there's a rise there. This floor was actually pretty decent to work with. It was level, just it really had to be ground, no major repairs. As far as getting it level. So now the floor we're going to put in here is going to have a terrazzo look to it and it's called Jawbreaker. Now on this floor, I know it's actually, after I get this coating off, I'm gonna, you're gonna see in the next segment, it's a bit of a fishbowl, but again, we had to honor some of that. Now this next walkthrough, this pass through, is really, really in rough condition between the two slabs. And again, these are two separate slabs. This concrete in this room was particularly hard. And it was a bear to get this coating off. It's probably carpet glue at one time. And along here, we're going to have a lot of repairs. We're going to have to level the saw up. And again, this transition, you can see, it was an attempt to level that out. But we're going to take that all out and start again. And again, you're going to see in this room, we had to remove a couple overlayments. I don't know why it was there, because uh, there was no reason for it to be there. So our initial prep is underway, and we're finding our surprises as we go along. Now, this was the room that we removed the overlayment. Somebody put a self-level in here, and honestly, there was no reason for it. Unless they were trying to match this transition that I'm going to walk through. There's the floor. You can see that's a little bit raised, so we're going to have to honor that ultimately. So here we are cutting the floor, getting it ready for the primer. Here's a good example of an area that we have to honor. This is leading into the bathroom and this needs to stay. This was the floor that was in pretty good shape. So in the next step, you're going to see it all repaired and leveled out. And that's going to get us in position so that we can put in our foundation floor, which is going to be epoxy. And that foundation floor is going to help even things out. This segment shows the uh, final grinding in the repairs. So in addition to the transitions that we really had to worry about and honor some of them, you can see there was a lot of repairs in this floor, but this is a good looking grind in this room now. I mean, we're back down to aggregate, bare concrete, ton of patches, ton of patches, but part of the patching is gonna be also this foundation floor that we're gonna float next. So there's that transition that's relatively smooth. Bunch of voids and nail holes from, again, the flooring throughout the years. There's probably carpet tacks in here at one point. So we had to go in and fill all those holes. Here's where a couple floors met that we had to uh, move out. See, it's all patched in now. There's that part that leads into the bathroom that we had to honor. Here's our easy to work with floor. This floor was relatively flat, but you can see we had to tie it back into the walls. Here's the fish ball, but it really isn't a fish ball as much as it uh, just needs to uh, get evened out. Here's the repairs that we made and filled in that transition. 
It's hard to see in this room, but along the wall, there was also a ton of repairs that needed to get to smooth that out and to tie it all together. So we're looking pretty good. Now we're ready to put in that foundation floor that's gonna fill all the stuff that you can't see. Okay, our prep is done on this floor, finally. This job was all prep. So now this is the reason why we did this primer coat. Because what this does, this goes back and this fills all the stuff that's just impossible to fill on the first go. This kind of reveals itself to what needs to be done. And as you can see, there was very minimal follow-up patching. We had to knock a few things down, fill a few things in. But what's funny is uh, a lot of these patches that I went back and refilled with quick patch anyway, weren't even uh, voids. They just look like voids. I mean, you, some of this stuff here like this, it's really flush. You can still see it, but it's flush. And that's what we wanted. This floor is completely flush. And flat. So now when we do our final coat with the chips, it's gonna look really good. And these transitions came out really well. They're certainly imperceivable to your touch. And as you can see, they're very subtle. From one slab to the next. So let me get a quick look at these chips and you'll see where we're going with all of this. This floor is part of the Terrazzo collection from Tornigo. And I actually have this in my own house and it's awesome. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down and this is gonna definitely have a Terrazzo look to it. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna smooth the floor out quite a bit. And then on top of that, we're gonna put three coats of polyaspartic. This floor is gonna look very similar to a terrazzo floor. Here's the final result of all our efforts. As you saw from the previous segments, there was a ton of prep that went into this floor, a ton of repairs. Again, floor is 100 years old. You can only imagine the floors that were in and out on this concrete throughout the years. In addition to all the different slabs and repairs and transitions, looks great. Looks really nice. I can't wait to see this space once the walls are repaired and the baseboards are in. It's really going to show off the floor. And you have some furniture in here occupying the space. So this is the floor where we removed the overlayment that was on the floor. This is an example of one of the transitions that were evened out. Leading into this transition, there's a better look at the transition itself. You can see it's hardly perceivable. Now this floor had a couple different slabs, particularly over in the other corner. A lot of repairs here, again, to remove nail tack strips. Had to fill the void between the floor and the wall. Looking into the kitchen area there, you can see there were two different levels of slabs in there. Here's where we honor that area that led into the bathroom. You can see what that looks like. That's right there again. You really can't perceive it, but it is still there. Here's the room that was relatively in good shape. A lot of carpet tack strip holes too that we had to repair. And I believe that there were some voids along the wall as well that we had to fill. In this storage area, there was a bit of a fishbowl in here, but we leveled that all out. And that's looking really good now too. So again, this is a chip that mimics a terrazzo floor. 
So what you're looking at is that primer coat, that foundation coat of epoxy that we put down, then we put down our white epoxy on top of that and did a full chip into this. We actually sanded this floor to get it as smooth as possible, texture wise. And then we put three coats of polyaspartic. There's that transition. That's looking really good. Here's this floor that was uh, one solid slab, but there was a ton of repairs on the other side of the wall here. That, were, that was leading into the transition. Job looks great. Thanks for watching. Pro Tech Epoxy Floors, Newport Ritchie, Florida. We professionally install beauty and durability. Pro Tech serves both residential and commercial customers in Pasco, Hernando, Hillsboro, and Pinellas counties. Please call or text 727 916 2314 to discuss your project. We look forward to being of service. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, or subscribe.